What's up everybody? I'm excited to share with you a whole new series and this one is going to be on nutrition. This is a long time coming and so I'm really happy to be doing this. This first video is going to be all about how weight loss works, how fat loss works because this is such a big topic that there's a lot of misinformation on and a lot of people need help because Let's face it, everyone is fat and overweight all around us. It's becoming a huge epidemic, not just with adults, but also with kids. All right, so this is a huge issue. If you have any questions or comments or videos that you specifically want me to make about dieting, nutrition, please leave a comment at the end of this video and let's get right into it. The major thing you got to keep in mind is that calories are the number one predictor of whether you're going to be losing weight or gaining weight okay basically your body burns a certain amount of calories per day it depends how much you're burning whether you are male female your age makes a difference your height makes a difference and your activity level makes a difference all right and you have some sort of average and if you eat less calories than you need, you're going to lose weight over time. If you eat more calories than you need, you're going to gain weight, right? Very simple. Now, some people will say, oh, but that doesn't work. Uh, I've tried counting calories and it doesn't work because I'm old or I'm, my metabolism is slow. I have thyroid issues, uh, different reasons, right? Well, if you keep making those excuses the reality is that you just need to eat less okay it's very possible that you're not calculating things accurately all right like for example the calculators that themselves that tell you you burn a certain amount of calories per day they're just estimates okay they're just giving you a guideline if you're constantly eating a little bit less than what that calculator spit out and you're still not losing weight and you're accurately weighing everything and measuring everything then it's likely that your metabolic rate is even lower than that and you just need to eat less okay so that is a big deal also a lot of people are not very patient the weight that you gained usually you gained it over months maybe even years and it happened very slowly until one day you realized hey like you looked at an old photo of yourself and you realized you look very different okay and you want to do something about it you're not going to lose that weight in a few weeks it's going to take time all right you're gonna lose some weight in the beginning but it's gonna take time this is like something that can take months if you are really overweight and something you've been struggling with and you have to stick with it and trust the process if you are losing some weight you have to stick to it okay now moving on diets there's so many different kinds of diets there are fad diets weight loss diets lifestyle diets there's a bunch of different diets listed here and a lot of times they work because they're restricting certain foods that you can eat or maybe the time uh, when you can eat and that in turn is creating some sort of caloric deficit and that is causing you to lose some weight what's important here is not the diet itself it's which diet is suitable for your lifestyle okay one could work great for one person and a different one could work great for another one now one of the first things people think of when they first want to lose some weight is they say i gotta go to the gym or i gotta start working out okay working out is great and highly recommended but the reality is you cannot out exercise a bad diet you need to get the diet in check otherwise you're going to keep spinning your wheels exercise is great work on your abs work on getting a strong six pack but it's actually not going to show itself until you actually lose the fat that covers over it and the only way to do that is by getting your diet in check and eating slightly less calories than you need to if you need to lose some body fat okay let's say you take like this infographic shows 
if you go to the gym and do like intense kickboxing class and you burn 500 calories in that hour, right? Great. But what if you have one cheat meal of 1500 calories afterwards because you feel like you deserve it? The reality is that that one cheat meal easily negated all the work you've done that day. This is why it's imperative that you focus on the diet. If you go really extreme with cardio every day and nonstop work at it and never and don't change a thing with your diet, sure, you're going to lose weight. But actually what ends up happening is that cardio ends up making you hungrier over time because your metabolic rate increases not just for that day but the day after and you will end up craving more food eventually there's going to be a rebound effect in the beginning you might feel oh yeah you're not as hungry because you worked out and you feel good about yourself but really eventually there's a rebound effect and you need to be aware of this okay so in regards to exercise, everybody should be doing strength training because if you are losing weight, that's great. But it's very possible that you're also losing muscle if you're not strength training at the same time. You want a high quality weight loss, which ensures that you're losing mostly fat, but minimizing the amount of muscle lost. If you are losing weight, and you're not working out you're also going to be losing weight in the form of muscle and that's not good because overall your physique is going to look worse okay you're going to lose a lot of a lot of your muscle definition and you don't actually want that all right it looks good to lose any excess body fat but you also want to keep the muscle you have and you do that by doing strength training intense strength training it doesn't have to take a lot of time but there are many ways to go about this okay so that is one huge point that should never be neglected now in regards to how little you should eat the more severe your deficit the more extreme you go the less sustainable it will be all right and eventually it's gonna have a really bad rebound effect so you have to find some sort of balance where you're eating slightly less each day to actually make this sustainable. Because remember, you didn't gain all that weight in a day. You gained it over a long, a long time. And you want to take your time losing it so that you can stick to whatever it is that you need to that's working for you. Now, I covered a lot of different topics. A lot of different nuances within this whole topic of weight loss, right? And I want to know what questions you have and how you like the video. If you did like the video, please leave a thumbs up. And also, I want you to tell me what questions you have. What do you want me to cover? And maybe in the next video, I'll cover exactly that. All right? There's so many different topics we can talk about. And I want to just you know see what you have to say as well and let me know how you like this presentation and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching have a great day